Happy iPad Mini Day. It is November 2nd, 2012, and the iPad Mini first generation has arrived. It is in my hands, guys, first of all. And I'm sorry, this is very non-manly of me, but this thing is freaking cute. Look at it. It's like a little iPad baby. Like, I couldn't believe how small the box was. I mean, I know it's smaller than the iPad, obviously, but seeing it in person, it's weird. Like, I already have, like, a personal connection to the freaking box. Anyway, with that aside, huge thanks again to David Banther for making this possible. For those not aware, David's very busy this month of November, uh, so he graciously offered for me to look after his iPad mini for probably a couple weeks or so, just as long as he has it back by Thanksgiving. You know, that way I can do the unboxing, the first impressions, a comparison between this and the uh, regular size iPad and a demo of the smart cover and all that stuff. So huge thanks to David. Awesome guy. Check him out below, youtube.com slash dlb1752 and twitter.com slash David Banther. All right, guys, let's get on to the best part of this video. Let's unbox the iPad mini. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot about this. This is obviously the Wi-Fi model, the 3G, 3G, the 4G LTE models are not available till mid-November. So for the time being, this is the white, obviously, the white Wi-Fi model, 64 gigabyte. So yes, David went all out. Props. All right, let's do this. I already made a small slither in the back because, again, this is not my iPad, so I want to do this very carefully. There you go. Not bad at all. Come on. There you go. Guys, I'm so excited about this because, again, just to reiterate from previous videos, I hate the Kindle Fire. I, I really do. It's one of the worst things I ever bought. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just being honest. But I really did like the Nexus 7. I just didn't need it because I have my regular size 9.7 inch iPad right here, which does a fantastic job. But if Apple can finally sell me on the 7 inch form factor in iPad form, then this could change everything. By the way, I should say this is 7.9 inches, so it's practically an 8 inch tablet, not a 7 inch tablet. All right, with that aside, let's open up the box and look at this. Oh, look at that. Very nice, of course. Apple always has a very smart packaging. Let's put this aside, then we'll drool over it in a minute or so. As with any iPad, this is probably a starter guide of some kind, fingertips, whatever they're going to call it. Actually, fingertips is more of an iPhone thing, I think, if they still even do that. So yes, you do get an iPad mini starter guide showing you um, all the buttons, iPad info, and of course, Apple stickers, but these are going right back in here for David. Not me, I don't talk in third person. Well, I do sometimes. Let's put that aside. You do get your little tiny power brick for charging, which is always good. And finally, last but certainly not least, you do need this. Uh, this is the lightning cable. So yes, the 30-pin dock connector is officially dead. Although Apple still sells the iPad 2 for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but that's another video. All right, here we go. Let's hold it. Okay, yes, confirmed. It does fit in one hand. Very, very nice. Weight. Doesn't feel too light. Doesn't feel too heavy. It feels about right. Let me get my iPad. Obviously, this is much, much heavier. So, okay. Anyway, let's flip it around. This looks hot, guys. Look at this. This is nice. You do get your iSight camera up there. And, of course, your front. I believe this is 720p FaceTime camera, which is nice. Home button's right there. Let's take off the plastic and introduce this baby to the world. Ooh, nice loud plastic that is. And there you go. And there it is, guys. Let's boot it up. And then I'll let you guys go. While that's doing its thing, let me take out my third generation regular size iPad out of the case from Maru. Great case, by the way. I, I do have a video on that. And let's put the iPad mini on top of the iPad. Okay, so if you look at that, you can definitely see, I'm getting email in the background, you can definitely see a huge size difference, uh, but do not let the bezel fool you. I mean, the screen size is massively different. I mean, going from 9.7 inches to 7.9 inches, it is a huge, huge difference. I mean, you, you even really see kind of a drastic difference going from a 3.5 inch iPhone or iPod Touch to the new 4 inch iPod touch or um, iPhone 5 and believe me guys I'm loving my iPod touch I mean I use it all the time but um, 
there it is. I can't really give my thoughts on the screen yet, but from what I can tell, it looks sharp enough. It's certainly not Retina uh, like the third generation iPad is, but it really does look pretty good, and that's a tiny slide to unlock. It's so weird to see it all small on the, on the uh, iPad, but that's pretty cool. Let me just do my setup process real quick. The Frank Media Headquarters is my Wi-Fi. Yes, it's pretty official. Let me put my password in. Password is in, joining the Frank Media Headquarters. Now it's going to ask me a bunch of other questions about my um, my home screen, my home screen, my Apple ID, enable location services always, restore from iCloud backup. Wait, should I do this? No, let's just set this up as a new iPad. Sign in my Apple ID. All right, signed in. My iPad keeps coming on in the background. I guess because I keep touching it by accident. Take a few minutes to set up my Apple ID. Again, I'm setting this up as a brand new iPad. Use iCloud. Back up to iCloud. Yes, of course. I rarely, rarely, rarely ever tether any of my iOS devices to my Mac anymore. Use Find My iPad, of course. Skipping past the previous screen since it showed my phone number. Of course, use Siri, which I will do a video on that. Very soon, automatically send diagnostics and usage. That's always good. Register with Apple. No, since this is not my iPad, so let's turn that off and start using iPad. There you go. Well, because I gotta say, this is so weird. I'm, I'm not used to seeing like the icons this tiny on a tablet device from Apple. I mean, it's gonna be an awesome experience, and I really can't wait to see how much this shines as a tablet. Because again, guys, I have to stress this so much. I love the smaller inch form factor for tablets. I'm just not a big fan fan of the Nexus 7. I mean, I liked it, but it just wasn't my kind of style. That's all. Alright guys, that's it. It's now my time to go nerdgasm all over this thing. Don't worry, David. I'll keep it clean. Speaking of David, don't forget, check out his links below for YouTube and Twitter. He's, he's just an awesome guy for letting me do this, and I really appreciate it. And if I do like this enough, then maybe I will sell my current iPad third generation for an iPad mini first generation. We'll see. However, until then, I'm going to put this thing through the test of Siri, uh, the cameras, all that good stuff, and especially compare the resolutions of this screen to the iPad 3rd generation, because again, this is 1024 by 768 same resolution as the iPad 2, but this has a higher pixel density than the iPad 2 does. So it's going to be really interesting to compare. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching, and well, I'll see you on Monday for the launch of my brand new website, November 5th. Be there. It's going to be fun. Peace.